Previously on Football Manager 22, let's play Sheffield Wednesday. We did all for boring stuff on our first episode and did all for setup, chose fuel for big leagues, large database, and most importantly, chose our favourite biscuit for lemon drizzle chocolate digestive. Yummy! We then had a few laughs at choosing randomised head and some of the ones which was coming out, ginger guy with ponytail, the moustaches, the glasses, really, really funny. We then looked into our squad to see what type of depth we had in quality and for our first team, and also to see what tactic we could play. Obviously, I normally play a four at the back, but in this one, I've had to play 5-3-2, or you could call it a 3-5-2. We're looking at attacking down for wing back so that we can hit those early crosses into Patterson or Barino or Gregory, who are all good in there and got good headers. We then had a couple of offers from Norwich and Brentford for Delhi Basharu, who we was hoping to develop and kind of experiment with in our training. But we decided, you know what, as we wanted to use him, we're going to ask for four million. And it didn't really sit that well with the player. So we had a chat. And to be honest with you, he still wasn't happy. He didn't think he was worth four million. So we move on from there. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 22 Sheffield Wednesday. I hope you're all well on this nice, cold, wintry day. It's nearly Christmas, guys. It's nearly Christmas. This footage was filmed couple of weeks back because I've been ill for the last couple of weeks with migraines and just general feeling crap and also because I'm new to streaming on Twitch check out my link in my profile wink wink I was trying to set it all up and I was using the Twitch beginners tool worst mistake of my life so I've now converted to Streamlabs OBS and done some research on YouTube from other creators and you're gonna see uh, later on the difference it's made so at the moment in the background we've got some games going on we're winning 4-1 against Liverstone, one of our preseason games and as you can see it's in black and white the quality is poor my camera was poor and I did some sort of green screen effect on my gameplay which then produced the background image of stupid daddy it was just rubbish so this is reason why i'm just want to fly through it let's get it done right let's look into it so first thing here we won for one then i'm looking at what free transfers are available that's always one thing you want to do is go see what experienced international footballers are going to be on for free transfer right we saw some but then actually realized we've got no wage budget so wasting time but it was quite funny we then go into our second game of pre-season against kelty hearts and we are beating them four nil oh no there you go five nil it finishes definitely scoring some goals so then we look at sorting out our set piece takers because we pretty much just forgot to do it so we get that finished. Jumping into our third preseason game against Jan House Muir. And we absolutely battered them. 7 0. Just quickly looking at where I was with my friendly. So 4 1, 5 0, 7 0. I was trying to work out what teams I did. A, B, A. I guess I wanted A, A, B. I think that's what I was thinking of. Still can't believe that Jordan Rose, man. Paid 10 million for that crap. Should have known. Should have known that. Oh, it says 6 million there. Maybe it was 10 million with add on fees. Oh, what a loss. Got so much potential. You know what? He's not that bad. Could always buy him up. Got sold to Celtic B team. So he would prefer to go to Celtic, but he would have been in our first team playing. With oh, it's just shocking. And Liam Shaw as well in Celtic B team. Got probably great wing backs for this league in Johnson Palmer, Bannon Longo in the middle, Byers behind for two strikers, P 
Patterson is a beast. I mean, we were talking to a uh, viewer on our first stream who supports Sunderland, and he brought Sunderland when he was got promoted to a championship, and he's banging him in. So yeah, uh, it's very key that we probably keep him in our team if he's doing well in this football manager. Da, 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 groundsman. Uh, we played away so far, haven't we? We haven't really tested out our ground of how we're going to play. Um, playing slightly wider. I want my pitch wider, but probably shorter maybe. Because if I play shorter, I'm just spitballing out <laughs> in my mind of what I want there. So what's standard compared to what we've got? We're not that far away. So we're quite narrow compared to standard. Four meters more narrow, but lengthwise we're standard. We're nearly on for maximum allowed. I feel like going to a standard. Yeah, I'm going to go standard. Oh, because I want the pitch to be a bit wider, but lengthwise we're okay. Shame you can't customize it. I don't know, I'd like to go like 66, 66 and 102, 102, 66, something like that. Let's see how it goes. Let's just keep it out of here. Season ticket sales updates. Next week you'll, we get some tickets through the gate. So we expected 11,400. Some grounds don't even fill that in any games in League One. A club in a small pond. Nah, we're not a big club anymore. We're a championship stroke League One team. So we're not I haven't been in Premiership for such a long time. And when we were in Premiership, didn't really do anything. Back in '93. So if I don't attend and I do that, let's see. Just want to try out. What does a summary give me? They just give me advice summaries. Okay. Um, didn't I set this up already? Uh, yes. I, I swear I did all my set piece. Yeah, I want to keep that. That's how I want it. I chose that. Oh no, the remove taker. Oh, come on, it's, it's working out a moment. I don't change too much. We're winning games. So it's very low, medium. Okay, heavy match load. Okay, you can kind of put on that. Match fatigue. Okay, low condition. Try and work what these ones are. Low match sharpness. So he's, you'd look at these three and go, okay, not bad. But he needs games. So, he's, so you have to get his match sharpness up slowly. Low condition, so what's this? Maybe because of his match load. I mean, we're not really too bothered about for yellows. If we worried about for yellows, just have no players to play. So just these four. He's just come back from injury, so he's high risk. And these three are, have played three matches for the last three matches. So we said B team. So I should have set out my B team. No, I didn't. Why did I do that? Normally set out like a full squad. Beating. Oh well, it's fine. Hacking midfielder. Oh, maybe that would be wing. And it hurts only beating. I guess Windass could sit really nicely behind the striker. Anyone else I can put as a DLP? Don't really have anyone. Reports. Ah, here we go. That's what I want. It's midfield center. Give him a go. See what they like. The physical's quite good. You know what? Willing to give players a try. Just never know, find little gems around. And move wing into there and play this youngster. Ah, oh, uh, you know what? I should be able to. Of course, I need to add him to my training camp, I guess, or something like that. Unless he's just played a game. Actually, what does it say? Uh, not being, yeah, training camp. Pause it. But it's amazing. You can make him travel to a training camp with a click of a finger. By going registration, training camp, and adding him in and confirm. <laughs> the world of digital management. I love it. All right, so he's fine to play. Let's see. See how our B team does. Yeah, don't need to change anything. It's all set up now. It surprises me because I don't think we're playing a possession game. Oh, that come across. I'm gonna play a bit. How annoying! 
header set piece. Mm, might have to look at our set pieces as well. Got some good performers there already. Defense is playing all right. We're lacklusting up front, not creating. Playmakers doing well. Bring in so a bit more experience. He had a go, 6.5. Um, I'm not angry, just disappointed. Uh, no, I got out of harsh. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. Come on, guys. I think we're playing all right. We're playing good football. Players aren't playing that bad. It's just a set piece goal, right? I mean, oh. <laughs> and Jack Cunt gets sent off. Probably our most experienced player. What a idiot. In a friendly as well. Oh, I'm glad that you're not a first choice. Change too much. Still, and that day I'm losing, right? I still want to keep my shape with my wing backs going forward, keep my defensive shape. All I'm losing is that pocket player in, uh, in between midfield and striker. Now I'm trying to compensate that with wing going forward, so still going forward. He's dropping off, getting for the ball, and he's just being that bit of a holding midfielder. Oh, lovely one, two, wing. Oh, unlucky. If wing wasn't so attacking in his position, he might have been there to stop this attack. The day to at risk with that position. Ah, oh, well, Smith, you should have come out and got that ball. Or put pressure on Nesbitt. You just made that really, really easy for him. This point. Right, let's... Uh, well, we need to push for it now. So... Make some changes, so we'll go there, do something like that. So let's put Barino on that right wing, tacking in there. Let's get Patson on in Brown. So we've got Barino, Patson, so Gregory really going for it. Still attacking mentality, I'm not going to drop back on that. Still playing wide, let's really get out wide. Plan out defence? Nah, uh, we need to get out there now. Uh, hit early crosses. Probably not now. Not playing it up there. It's because we're playing wing backs, I was thinking we don't get pushed too much to a byline. Just in case they lose it and need to get back. Um, let's go. Let's go more direct now. They're just going counter us, so I guess we probably want to come back a little bit. But because we're playing more direct, I want to keep that line up. It's not press so much. And done. I'll be happy to get a goal back, to be fair. He wants to be substituted. Is he knackered, is he? You know what? It's a good point. I don't have even thought about subbing any defenders. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's put Wolf in that middle. Bit of pace. Anyone else tired? Lewis Wings, knacking as well. Bannon wanna come on. Good ball, good control, Patson in. Oh, there you go, Patson. Playing as a can. Brought one back, I'm happy. I said, if we bring one back with 10 men. Shows changing around tactics and that worked, paid off. Sometimes you have to change tactics based on the situation, right? Still had 61% possession, 13 shots, on target, 9. Had bad XG, only just, but their XG really, really went wrapped up when we got the man sent off. And then it became quite on par. But we lost. We're away, 10 men. I'm happy with that performance. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe and to be notified, click on the bell.